Welcome back to another video of viewers and subscribers. Don't know you're watching Family Nutrista. So today I'm introducing the insulin plant. I have it right here with me as you can see. I'm introducing the insulin plant today. What I'm going to do, I'm going to plant it. See, I got some roots just bringing here. I had it in some water. I had it in a drum of water for some days. I went to the bush and you know, seek it, found it. So I decided to introduce it because it's very good for diabetes. You know, it lowers the blood sugar levels very quickly and very flat fast. So, you know, instead of using um, the insulin injection, you know, I would normally use the insulin plant, right? very good for diabetes it's the best thing i know for diabetes so i'm just introducing it today so what i'm going to do i'm going to plant it since i use it a lot yes i use it very much a lot so what i'm going to do is plant it because i had it as i said i had it in the drum of water for some days soaking you know because i know i do want it to plant as you can see here it's it, it looks like it have a cane look a image of a cane with some little joints and the leaf yeah this so this is the insulin plant otherwise known as spiral flag right otherwise known as spiral flag or fiery costos fiery flag are are fi fiery costos are spiral flag see the leaves as as a, a look of cane leaves also yeah so i'm going to find a little area that i'm going to plant it in right it's just a, i got about four of these see i have some more right here these are some bigger ones some much taller ones they grow just like cane yeah man so for all those who, with the diabetes this is the best plant Lower blood, your blood sugar levels, lower glucose levels very quickly and very fast. Yeah, man. So, I'm just going to find a little area that I'm going to plant it in. I think this area right here is just about good. I'm just going to clean away this stick and so on. Yeah, man. So, for all them people with the high blood sugars and bad diabetes, this plant is the best plant to use. Spiral flag. Otherwise known as fiery costus or insulin plant. As I know it, I call it insulin plant. I had a friend that introduced it to me. You know, he's very much older than me. He's like a herbal doctor, so you know. Yeah, man. I tried it a couple of years back and it was very good. It did me very good. It's been doing me very good, you know. It, it keep my blood sugar levels, my glucose levels on a, a good, a good base and a good steam, you know. Yeah, man. So it's very good for diabetes. So you guys can try it. It's very, it's a very rare plant. It's a very rare plant. It's hard for find, but you know, I'm sure if you ask around to people that know plants, you can find this plant. See the root as a, a like a ginger look. It's the same look as like a ginger plant for all those who have seen ginger plant already. Come on, so this is the spiral flag. I'm going to get the fork and I'm going to dig that here right there. Blow it up so I can get these plants planted because I'm going to need them. I use it a lot. Come on, I use it very much a lot. All right, people, so what I'm going to do, I get the area clean up already and do most of the digging. Well, do pretty much all of the digging. I'm not really much digging. I just dig up a little area at the soil where I can just put about three of them. I just, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to plant three of them so I can catch them. Because, you know, they will multiply as soon as they start. Because, see it? 
it's already multiplying there. Since the, the about seven days I had them in water, and they are already multiplying. So I'm going to get a lot out of the tree plants that I'm going to plant. So I'm going to get going with the first one right in here. As, as I said, I use these plants a lot. It's very good for diabetes. It definitely cures diabetes if you know if you use it the right way. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys how I use it and you know give you an explanation of how I use it. Because you know, for serious, I use it to cure diabetes and to treat diabetes, and it's very good for the glucose levels very good for the blood sugar level lower blood sugar lower glucose in the blood it's very good you guys can google it if you doubt me you know this plant here is very good during the summer time you normally get like a little flower out here a red or yellow flower would normally bloom out there right only during the summer time though i'm going to cover this up and plant another one as you can see the roots are already the roots are already coming out don't mind if it if it slant a little just want it to sturdy enough in the ground all right so i'm going to plant another one beside it because you know i want plenty i want to have plenty of these plants because seem to know it's very good for diabetes as I said so I'm going to plant out the three of them then after this I'm going to show you how I use it how I normally use these plants you can use them the same as well or you can find your own techniques of using them normally I would make like a, a water like a infused water with the insulin plant and string bean with tuna that's what I would normally do but I'm not going to do that part of it today I'm just today I'm just introducing the plant so there you go three of them and these plants are going to catch within no time I don't think I need to water them right now because they already been soaking in water for about some days now so this one right here, I'll leave this one to show you guys how I normally use it. So the root part there, I would normally cut it off and boil tea with it. I would boil tea with it. And this part here, I would normally heat it like a cane. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it. I'm going to break this part. Is it? I'm going to get the knife and cut it. This is one way how I would normally use it. Cut here like a cane. Just like a cane As you can see, it does, the inside of it does look like a cane. So, peel it. I joint it up just like a cane. Right? This part, we're going to use it boil tea and make the water into it. Right, so joint it like a cane and then I peel it like a cane. So this is the stock part. Right, this is this part of your insulin plant. Otherwise known as spiral plug, right? Or fiery custard. So this is what I this is how I deal with this part. Peel it like a cane. As you can see, I don't know if you can see the joints. So it has joints just like a cane. So I peel this part. Then I normally just eat it like a cane, right? Come on. It's not sweet, it's fresh, but the same texture as a cane. Right? It's very fresh, very, very fresh. And this part this this part they say have most of the insulin. The insulin in it. And this part they say has most of the insulin in it right so this part is the best part to consume so this is what i this is how i do it 
I heat it like a cane. Feel it? You heat it like a cane. This part, which is the stock. Yeah. So I heat this part like a cane. Yeah man, so that's how I leave do this part here. Get it like a cane. So what I'm going to do, so what I normally do is I normally make tea with the leaves. I normally make tea with the leaves and tea with some of the bark as well. But I normally dry it. I would normally dry it before I make tea with it. So what I normally do with this part of the plant, right? I normally make tea with it. I'd make the water infusion with it. I'd normal, or I would normally make the water infusion, right? With the leaves and some of the stars. As it can blend. It can blend in the water the same way. Yeah man, so yeah people. This is the fiery custard. Let me go back and show you the plants that I planted. This is the fiery custard otherwise known as spiral flag there here it is otherwise known as fiery costos and popularly known as the insulin plant very good for diabetes very good for, for, for blood for, to lower the blood sugar levels the glucose levels in the blood yeah, man. so I planted some trees for myself so no I'm going to let them grow so I can have my own trees because I had to go in a friend yard every time I want these plants I, had to, I have to go in my friend house to get them yeah man so the fiery costos otherwise known popularly, popularly known as the insulin plant very good for diabetes so try and tell you guys if you can find this plant if you can't find it you don't know you can link me up and get this plant fiery costos insulin plant otherwise known as spiral flag as well so yeah man this is my video of the insulin plant you guys can check it out i'll do another video another day doing the, the water infusion and probably doing like a tea so i'll do that another video with that another day right i'll be sure to do it so yeah right, guys thank you for watching thank you for watching thank you for listening Thank you for supporting the channel. Remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And also click on the notification bell. If you don't know. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for watching.